Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, I just want to give you a little introduction of why I became Muslim and, and how it just came about really. Uh, about a year ago my fiancé was, he came back to his religion. When we first met he was Muslim but he wasn't a practicing Muslim. And this, like I say, this, this time last year he actually um, came back to his religion, he found his faith again. Um, he started to read the Quran and pray. Uh, and everything like that and he started to read to me stories about the prophets peace be upon them and also gave me a website where I could read the Quran in English and next to it there was the Arabic translation this the Quran was actually wasn't what I expected it was the way it was written was really beautiful and it seemed to me that every question you had it was answered there it no matter where you, what no matter what question it was or anything there was an answer in the Quran at some point in it and as the more I started to read about it the more I wanted to learn about Islam its principles and what it was like to be Muslim Muslim in general so I, I started to get books out and read them well obviously and I also started to look at websites on the internet about Muslim converts and just anything that I could find really uh, so it carried on for about a few months, me just researching and finding everything that I could. In uh, November of last year, I actually said my Shahada. I didn't say it with anybody present, I said it to myself, um, and I did all the purifications and everything. So since then, um, it's just been amazing. I have i don't actually live in a Muslim communi community, so it's a bit difficult for me to interact with Muslims um, personally, but I actually start, I got a book out um, a few months ago, it's called The Bible, The Quran and the Science and that book is, it's so great, um, it's by an author called Maurice Bukai and he basically, um, he tells you all the contradictions of what the Bible says between the Old and the New Testament and how it's changed um, through the years and then he also goes on to say that the Quran is in modern knowledge it can't be explained um, and therefore it must be the Word of God because things that happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago cannot be explained today um, how they knew it sort of thing and it's just a great book you should check it out it's really good um, so yeah that's in a, in a nutshell really um, took a few months for me to get there but I did so Brothers and sisters, you got a new one to add to the family.